Are you experiencing an issue with your external monitor? Stay here because I'm going to give you the solution. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Jods Leo. Today I want to talk to you and share uh, my experience after updating my latest software uh, to Mac OS Catalina 10.15.4. After performing the update, I, I have experienced some issues with my external monitor, uh, which was a little bit frustrating, but thankfully I found a solution for it. Uh, you know, after researching the internet, uh, YouTube, and many other websites, I couldn't find the, the solution for it, right? Uh, and the ones that were telling you how to fix the problem, you had to do things that I wasn't comfortable doing, especially when it's about the software, the internal software itself. I don't feel very comfortable performing those tasks. So what I did is actually very simple. Uh, you know, previously I was using this uh, uh, USB-C to HDMI adapter from Gator Cables. As you can see, this is the one that I was using before and, and it was working just fine until I did the um, update on my computer. So the way I solved the problem is very simple. What I did is that I bought this uh, Apple um, USB C AV multipotter uh, and it's about $69 plus taxes. Uh, it's a little bit pricey but Trust me, this is gonna be the solution to your problems and you have to do absolutely nothing to the, so to the internal software of the computer. Um, and that is it, to be honest with you. This is all I did, is just plug and play, ready to rock and roll. That's all you have to do. Uh, this um, Gator cable adapter is actually really good. You know, it's very sturdy, really good, but for whatever reason it just stopped working. What I'm thinking is that probably uh, the Apple developers, uh, what, whomever is in charge of doing the updates, uh, they probably did something in the software, so it kind of forced you into buying their proprietary hardware, which is fine, you know what I mean? I, I'm absolutely okay with it. It's just a little bit annoying that, you know, after using this for a long time, it just out of nowhere, it just stopped working. It's kind of frustrating, you know, but this is uh, a little bit pricey, but it's good because the thing is that, it, you know, since you're going to be using this uh, USB-C port, you get that USB-C port right back in the front of the panel. And then on top of that, you get one HDMI and you get one USB-A port. So it's really good because it gives you, you know, quite a couple of options. And, uh, and it's gonna, like I said, it's just plug and play. You're gonna be ready to work right away. And that, that is it, that's all you have to do. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you how this actually works. I'm gonna, first I'm gonna plug in the, the Gator uh, adapter and then I'm gonna use the Apple adapter and you are going to see the difference. And it's gonna uh, it's gonna be very noticeable. This one, when you once you plug it in right away, recognize your external monitor, whatever it is, an actual computer monitor or a TV like the one I use. Um, so let's give it a try. As you can see, I have both adapters plugged into the back panel of my computer. So now, first, I'm going to try to plug it into the Gator adapter and see if the computer recognizes. The mother, as you can see, nothing happens, it still has no signal. Okay, let's try to, let me try to undo this. Now I'm going to plug it into the Apple adapter, see what happens. Right away, you can see that now my computer recognizes the external monitor and is uh, ready to to work again now uh, so that is it as you guys can see in my opinion that is the best option that we have to solve that monitor issue i hope you guys find this video useful and i hope that you guys solve your problem 
And if you did, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you on the next one. I'm Judd Leo.